as a follow-up to be my baby, but Phil will not let me record it because he didn't own a piece of the publishing. I had no idea how important this would end up being in my life. After being my baby hit, we became huge hits in the UK and were invited to tour. And who was the opening act? We set the tour with him. That we were set to tour with the Rolling Stones! <laughs> Mom came along when we went to England in January of 64. We were so excited. As soon as we got there, we met this royalty, the Beatles. <laughs> George, John, and Ringo came to check us out at our record company party. <laughs> we didn't really know their music because they hadn't come to the US yet. But they knew all music. After maneuvering us into a side room, John Lennon confessed he had a big crush on me. <laughs> I almost had to use a chair and a whip to get him back to the party. And George was pretty going on a step. The guys asked us to a fancy candlelit dinner. I won't say they were perfect gentlemen. What fun would that be? But in the end, I loved I was loyal to Phil and the Ronnets had a tour to do. Leaving London, we shared a bus with the Rolling Stones. Okay, try to picture Keith Richards at 21. <laughs> Go on, use your imagination. <laughs> Even longer hair than the Beatles, chain smoking, always joking, and up for just about anything. <laughs> I can still see the two of us getting off the bus when the fog was too thick to go on. Sleepy and hungry, we find the house, ring the bell, and introduce ourselves. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ronnie of the Ronettes. Hi, I'm Keith from the Rolling Stones. Strangers would invite us in for tea and scones and a chat. 